Classical Music Spotlight on Lake Effect Radio. Lady Aphasia changes. Hello, Lakeland Community College. This is the Bearded Gentleman Project. I am your host, DJ Grizzly, and I am joined by my play-by-play co-host, Matt Bossman, a.k.a. The Boss. What up, what up? All right, and uh, we're going to be talking some sports, and I'm going to shift into some music. So we, the first thing we wanted to cover was the Pro Bowl. Yes. Uh, and the final score was 49-27, uh, Team Irvin, because they they shifted up the pro, how the Pro Bowl rosters are done. It's yeah. not, no longer AFC versus NFC. It's draft style like the NHL did. Right, and the two Hall of Famers, Michael Irvin and uh, Jerry Rice, they do a draft out of all the best players that are selected to go, and they yeah. play each other. Yeah, and uh, there were a couple of uh, interesting plays that we saw in the game. There was uh, Richard Sherman. He... Mm-hmm took the field on offense as a wide receiver. Yeah. He then took a reverse, uh, wide left, and then saw, oh, there's a bunch of people over here. Let me not run into them. And decided to run 20 <laughs> yards back hmm. and try to, like, find, try to find some room. And then he was actually tackled by his real-life teammate, Bobby Wagner, 
Really? Yeah. For like a, I think the officially was like a 22 yard loss. Uh-huh. It, was, it was eventually second and 32. <laughs> and after Bobby Wagner, uh, like took him down. Yeah. All of his like Richard Sherman's teammates actually went up to him and said, "How did it feel to be on offense for <laughs> once?" That's funny. That's and, funny. And apparently, uh, later in the game, uh, even though the touchdown didn't count. Uh, Michael Bennett, who's yeah. CLC Hawks defensive end, yeah. took the snap at quarterback hmm. and proceeded to run, 50, like it was like 56 yards for a touchdown. That's funny. But the key to that was, one, it didn't count, and two, nobody attempted to tackle him. That's funny. Yeah, the, <laughs> like, like, it was just like this big 290-pound man just running down the field. <laughs> oh, man. And, that's crazy. Yeah, and just like, oh, that's that's a thing now. That just like, because that's what the Pro Bowl has become. Yeah, the Pro Bowl has become sort of a, in some people's minds, it's a joke. Yeah, well, it's I'm, become it's, sort of a comedy act with some of the best players in the league, and also on the con side, I guess you could say, of having the Pro Bowl. You know, look at the Patriots players; they said they didn't want to play. Oh, absolutely All the, not. And they didn't want to play in the game because, you know, their confidence yeah. right now, they feel terrible. Mm-hmm. And, you know, losing to the Broncos and everything. And plus, if you have players from Carolina and Denver, they could get hurt. So yeah. this game is – and they don't put anything into this game on purpose because they don't want to get anybody injured. Correct. So what is the point of having the game? That is the con right. of having yeah. the game. So – yeah, you know, that's a like, topic right there, there. there. There have been a number of different things that have happened uh, since the whole idea of concussions right. happened Correct. with yeah. uh, the NFL. They've recently shown off, like there was a, for field goals, Yeah, you're no longer allowed to rush the kicker. Really? At all. There's, you are literally, like if, I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't throw penalties at all. Like, I, I did see one where Richard Sherman actually, like, ran up right behind a guy and tried to defend a pass. It was, like, a touch too early, and they call the pass interference. But other than really? that, they really don't call any penalties. Hmm. But. Well, couldn't you, if you're rushing the kicker and you tackle the guy that catches the snap. Yeah. Isn't that okay? Uh, you don't see that very often. Like not even- no, you don't see that often at all. But wouldn't that, because you go around past the line, so they're assuming, the refs would assume, hey, you're going to go try and block the kick as opposed yes. to, I, I don't know, just yeah, throwing well, that out there. They, I, think, I think they officially ru- ruled it, like put it in the rule book for the Pro Bowl. You can't pass the line of scrimmage. Cannot, no, that, no, you can pass the line of scrimmage, you just like, you know, you touch an right, offensive okay. line and, and that's it. Yeah. Just because it's, it's a kicking game. Right. And, and the Pro Bowl has just become a show of offensive prowess. Yeah. That, that's. <laughs> and that's, that's the unfortunate thing about the Pro Bowl is that I am a person who loves watching a defense, a proper defense. Yeah, a good playing defensive defense. team. Yeah. Like, as much as I hate the Steelers or the Ravens from the past few years, they are great defenses and they know how to operate a defense. Right. Right. To not watch how a defense is played. That makes it harder for me to believe that like you you can't learn proper tackling if you aren't able to tackle someone. Right. It, it's it's unfortunate that you watch this game and you just see the statistics of you know I'm I'm guessing you know Russell Wilson and you know guys like uh, Peyton Manning if he would have mm-hmm. played you know their statistics would be great in the Pro Bowl. Yeah. As opposed to you know the defensive dis, ugh, the defensive statistics of these guys that have been playing great all year, like Richard mm-hmm. Sherman, like Wagner, and they don't get to express their talent. Yeah, well, and they're, they're like they're as much as it's considered an offensive like offensive based game, the Pro Bowl. Right. There, there were still a number of interceptions that you could. That yeah, I, in the game. I was looking at the uh, Snapchat of the Pro Bowl last night, and it said uh, somebody's re. I think it was on Team Irvin, the reaction to a crazy interception or something like that, mm-hmm. and had some emojis. But uh, I was I was surprised to even hear that there was interceptions in the game. Yeah, because well, it's so offensive minded. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're a defense, you play defense. Right. And right. as much as you want to take away certain hits that are likely to end a person's 
season mm-hmm. or even parts of the next season because after all it's the Pro Bowl so it's like the right. final not Super Bowl game of the year. Right. And like a torn ACL at the Pro Bowl, your your most of your next season is nearly done. Right. Right. But the t- like the defense, they still play defense because otherwise the game wouldn't have meaning. Right. Right. And it's just I I don't know, the game has become like you look at other compare it to other sports, compare it to one of the great all-star games in the MLB. You know, their Pro Bowl is has a lot of meaning to it because whoever wins that game has home field advantage in the World Series. Yes. So the only problem is there is no home field advantage in the Super Bowl. That is played right. in a neutral site. Exactly. So there's fairness. You know, so this Pro Bowl, the more they talk about getting rid of it, every year you're going to see more people shaking their heads and saying, okay, that's okay. Let's yeah. get rid of it. The more, you know, that's going to happen. It's yeah, going to be likely. And another thing that to take into account is apparently they do uh, the players. Right. There is a difference between winning and losing in the Pro Bowl. Mm-hmm. Apparently it's $58,000 if you win, 29000 if you lose. To the players. To the players. <laughs> Individually. That's Now, what I'm thinking is, couldn't they just take that and say, like, this, it goes to this charity or this charity? I would love to see something like that. Like something a, like that and have meaning of, you know, maybe... Because we all know that the NFL makes way too much money oh, for yeah. them to care at all. Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. Like, like, just any scandal that comes across, like, oh, here's Bounty Gate, here's the Ray Rice scandal. It, it doesn't matter to the NFL at all. Right. They make and, money. Yeah. And Roger if, Goodell has shown that yeah. in the past few years. So what if they made the Pro Bowl a charity? I think, charity that, I think that would be a great idea. I think also like, putting meaning to it, um, maybe, you know, they play that first game of the season on Thursday night. Okay, yes. Okay, maybe yeah. someone, whoever wins the Pro Bowl, maybe do an AFC-NFC thing, go back to that. Whoever wins okay. that game will have the home game and the first mm-hmm. game of the season at home or something. Or every Thursday night, if the NFC wins the Pro Bowl the year before, have an AFC-NFC matchup and the NFC team would have home, home field, field advantage the, through all the Thursday night games. Okay. Something different. like that. Because I mean, the NFL Vice Network has pulled through that. Yeah, they never, you know, you're still going, first of all, you're still going to get all the viewers and every year, I'm sure statistically, you're going to see that the viewers, the viewing, the stats go up mm-hmm. on Thursday nights and Monday nights. You know, Monday nights you have, you know, the guys that watch at home, the or girls, the people that go to the bars, you know, when they go hang out and watch mm-hmm. the games there, you know, or that go to the games. So... I don't know, something like that. You could do that mm-hmm. and make it a charity event as well. Yeah. So it has double meaning. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just I'm just like checking time to see like if we should go to a commercial or not. Okay. Uh, do do we want to go ahead and go to a commercial and then yeah, talk about? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, after this, we're gonna be talking about the Cavs game that happened on Saturday night. Once again, you're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio, streaming live on www.livestream.com/lakeeffect. Watch us live at www.livestream.com slash lake effect. Now you can earn bachelor's and graduate degrees close to home through Lakeland Community College's Holden University Center. Choose from a variety of degree programs at seven Ohio colleges and universities. Taking classes your first couple of years at Lakeland will save you thousands. Register online for a Holden University Center general information session held the last Wednesday of each month. Learn more at lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Lakeland's Holden University Center. Stay here. Go far. Come attend Lakeland's LinkedIn Workshop Friday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to noon in the Career Services Center located in room A1039. 70% of all jobs are found through social and professional networking connections. Learn how to use LinkedIn to build your career and job search network. Seating is limited and registration is required. You can register now at careers.lakelandcc.edu. Any additional questions, feel free to call Career Services at 440-525-722. 
4420-525-7222. Again, that's 440-525-7222. Again, the LinkedIn Workshop will be in A1039, January 29th at 10 a.m. to noon. Come watch the Lakeland basketball teams as they take on Sinclair on January 30th at Lakeland Community College. The women start at 1 and the men start at 3. You can listen on www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. Resources, finding scholarships, college success workshop, Thursday, February 4th, 12.30 p.m. to 1.15. Library is on the third floor C building. Register at My Lakeland Student Tab. Schedule it. For more information, please call 440-525-7425 for more information. Are you terrified of having interviews? Well, don't worry, Lakeland will be hosting an interview workshop. You can learn what to say, how to say it, so they say you're hired. Seating is limited, so hurry up and register at careers.lakelandcc.edu or call 440-525-7222. It'll be hosted on Friday, February 5th from 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. That's Friday, February 5th, 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. It's Lake Effect. Watch us live at www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. January is National Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Month. This frank discussion will address the reality of modern-day slavery in the form of human and sex trafficking in our area, especially in the state of Ohio. The reason as to why local law enforcement expects an increase in these crimes in the near future will also be addressed. This discussion will be taking place Wednesday, January 27th at 7 p.m. and Wednesday, February 24th at 1 p.m. in the 8th building room H101 of Lakeland Community College. It's free and open Open to the public. You can contact Gloria Lane of the Lakeland Women's Center at 440-525-7436 for more information. This one empty bottle is way too heavy to take to the recycle can right outside my classroom. Lake Effect Radio. Watch us live at www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. All right, welcome back. This is the Grizzly, uh, the uh, Bearded Gentleman Project. I am DJ Grizzly, along with the boss, Matt Bossman. And uh, we're uh, going to be talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers game against the San Antonio Spurs on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. And it was unfortunate that Tim Duncan, uh, he sat out for, I think, I think it was the third game. Yeah, he has a, game. I think it's a back injury. Yeah. Right now. Well, a- as old as he is, it's likely a back injury. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so one of the other things that happened during the game is LeBron uh, screwed up his shorts. Yeah, he ha- he put on uh, the shorts. It was Hollywood Classic night. So they have stripes on their yellow shorts and stripes on their yellow jerseys. Well, we have another yellow uniform that has just the C with the sword through it on the yellow shorts and no stripes on it. He took the shorts from the other uniform and had the Hollywood jersey on top. So it was a wardrobe malfunction for LeBron. And uh, he did something similar to what he did in the finals. He ended up going to the bench and taking them off, not in the locker room, but on the Mm -hmm. floor. And, you know. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Yeah, so the game... The, the, like the gameplay, like as Tim Duncan oh, hit the arm there, uh, <laughs> as Tim Duncan wasn't playing, this game seemed like it was almost needless. Yeah, like, like there was so little coming out of the Spurs. Yeah, like the final was one. I, I think I messed up, uh, mixed it. One seventeen, one hundred three. One seventeen, one hundred three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and just and, and like the score was shouldn't you? Shouldn't have even been that close. Right. It didn't. It didn't right. look like it was a close game. Yeah. And I, I mean, Kyrie played great. Kevin Love played great. LeBron did his thing. It was a you know a recipe for what we should have done. But we could say this for years. Mm-hmm. What we should have done last June. All right. So another thing is that I, I'm gonna talk about because I didn't get to talk about it was that talk about it last week because I didn't have anybody on for sports. The hi- the s- sudden firing of David Blatt yeah. and the hiring of Teron Liu. Mm-hmm. No one saw. No one saw that coming. No, 
No, that was completely out of the blue. Yeah. And now Teron Liu, he, he's already going to be coaching the Eastern Conference <laughs> for the All-Star game. <laughs> yeah. Just How's like that, that for, uh, hey, you're hired. By the way, coach the All-Star game, please. Yeah. and But Teron Liu, of course, was saying, I want David Blatt to be coaching that. Right. Right. Which I think is, cr- is, is what he right. should have done, yeah. I anyway, think that's right. How do you feel now about Teron Liu after seeing him? Because the first game that yeah. they played was not good. Right. I, I don't... I think that was the game that everybody had to get used to the offense, to the style of offense, okay. because he wants them to run an up-tempo and up-pace, mm-hmm. a faster offense, which I think is perfect for the Cavs. I think that is... You know, we don't have the small ball. Like the Warriors have, they play up tempo. That's what Steve yes. Kerr has them do. You know, pick and roll, kick and you know pop. Mm-hmm. But uh, for the Cavs, that is one thing they take their time. You know, they really do take their time, and that's a problem. They and if they take their time, when they do, they find bad shots, and they find out, oh, we have five seconds on the clock now. Got to rush a shot when LeBron's not in the game. Now, mm-hmm. when LeBron's on the bench sitting there, I think this will decrease his minutes. He'll be able to sit on the bench more against tough teams like Golden State, like the Spurs, um, you know, like the Bulls, teams that we're going to have to, you know, eventually go through. Um, I, you know, personally think this is a great thing. Lou, he, you know, we just got to see how it plays out. They've played, what, three, four games yeah. now? So, yeah. you know, yeah, it, personally, it's it, it's going to see. We'll it, see in time. Yeah, it's a little frantic to, to have said, Oh, Teron Lou's not going to be a good coach. He right. lost in his first game, and it's like, right. That's, that's as much as I was one of those people. Is like, why did he do that? He just lost a game for right. us against a team that we should have been beating. Right. It's it's not a good idea to look at your first game ever. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. And, and say, oh, that's how this season's going to yeah. go now. Oh yeah. All right. So, like you. So so do you see a pickup in the offense with Teron Liu as the head coach? I do. I think it's uh it's less rushed, more um You more. know, when you have when you play slow, you you have to use a play and you have to sit there and kind of feel out, okay, you're going to go to the left, you're going to run off a pick. I'm going to give you the ball. But by the time see the Cavs by the time they take the shot, they don't have enough time to take the right shot, take the best shot available. They need to rush, and that's what they've been doing. That's why they're struggling against teams like Golden State. And uh, what that's kind of what happened in the first time when they played the Spurs mm-hmm. um, many times in that game. So I think a, a fast pace means, boom, shoot the ball, but you get the open shot. Yeah. And you make sure, and that c- catches the defense off guard. Again, look at the Warriors. Yeah, like we, and also another thing to mention, we don't have the dead eye shooters. No, we don't. Like like a Stephen Curry, like a Clay no. Thompson, a Draymond Green. We don't have like dead eye. No. I I can hit from anywhere in this right. court. I mean, LeBron. You know, at LeBron still considered the best player in the world, but Curry's getting up there. Oh yeah. And LeBron isn't a shooter. He's an all around player. Yes. So LeBron is better driving to the basket driving, kicking out, passing. That's his game now, more of that Magic Johnson yeah. type of offense that we're seeing come out of LeBron in his later years. Yeah. And then we have, you know, we have those vets, James Jones, LeBron, then we have Mo Williams, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith, Richard Jefferson, then we have yeah. the younger guys, Shumpert, Kevin Love, Kyrie. Yeah. So that's the kind of mesh that we need to have, and that's what this up-tempo offense is going to bring. Okay. All right. Uh, do we have anything else that we want to talk about on this? Or Cavs I... play the Pacers tonight at yeah. seven on yeah. NBA TV. On NBA TV? Or... Yeah. yeah. Well, I it'll be it'll be Fox Sports. Ohio yeah, it'll be on Fox yeah. Sports Ohio, but it's also I mean it'll be kind of cool to see it on NBA TV too. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go to another quick commercial, and then I'll be back playing some music for you guys. So. Once again, you're listening to the Bearded Gentleman Project. I am DJ Grizzly. You're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio and streaming live on www.livestream.com slash lakeeffect. Mm-hmm. 
Call or text in to 440-940-6615 to request songs. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Begin your associate degree or technical certificate conveniently at the main campus in Kirtland or Lakeland East in Madison for a quality education at an affordable price. Visit lakelandcc.edu. Come watch the Lakeland basketball teams as they take on Sinclair on January 30th at Lakeland Community College. The women start at 1 and the men start at 3. You can listen on www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Textbooks on reserve at Lakeland Library. Select textbooks are not available for students to check out and use the library. Donations of current textbooks to the textbook on reserve. Programs are encouraged from instructors and students. If your textbook is not currently available in the library, please contact your instructor to provide a copy of their textbook for the Textbook on Reserve program. For more information on the library-initiated Textbook on Reserve program, please call 440-525-7424. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash lake effect. Brainsetter walk-ins in the library, C-35-1. Free and no appointment needed. Need assistance in guiding and enhancing your writing skills? A writing setter tutor is available to students working on assignments, papers, and projects. They're available Monday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 440-525-7425 for more information. Come attend Lakeland's LinkedIn Workshop Friday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to noon in the Career Services Center located in room A1039. 70% of all jobs are found through social and professional networking connections. Learn how to use LinkedIn to build your career and job search network. Seating is limited and registration is required. You can register now at careers.lakelandcc.edu. Any additional questions, feel free to call Career Services at 440-525-7222. Again, that's 440-525-7222. Again, the LinkedIn Workshop will be in A1039, January 29th at 10 a.m. to noon. You're listening listening to Lakeland's Lake Lake Effect Effect Radio, Radio. the official home of Lakeland Lakeland Sports. Sports. If you want to watch and listen, you can tune it to www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Are you terrified of having interviews? Well, don't worry. Lakeland will be hosting an interview workshop. You can learn what to say, how to say it, so they say you're hired. Seating is limited, so hurry up and register at careers.lakelandcc.edu or call 440-525-7222. It'll be hosted on Friday, February 5th from 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. That's Friday, February 5th, 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. We live in a disposable society, yes, yes. It's easier to throw things out than to fix them. We even give it a name. We call it some recycling. Hey, Lakeland Effect Radio. This is the Lowlies. Check us out on Reverb Nation and on Facebook, and we even have a channel on YouTube. Come take a listen.
city Gonna leave my past behind I will stand Take no pity Pain's broken, man, no mind
That has been the Bearded Gentleman Project. I am DJ Grizzly. Once again, those last songs were first ones I played, going from first to last, were Imaginary Friends by Laszlo, uh, Renzakuken by Raziel, The Road by Jackal Queenston, uh, Forgiven by Eric's, and that last one was Hold On To Me by Electro Life featuring Psychics. And thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next week, likely, unless I'm going to be on... Uh, Bosses show sometime this week to talk about the Super Bowl. Uh, so until that time, peace out. We don't do weather forecasts on Lake Effect Radio, so this should take care of the entire year for you. It's cold! It's freezing cold! The snow sucks. It spits all over your pants and it makes you look like a freaking hobo. One reporter ventures outdoors to see if it really is hot enough outside for an egg. I prayed during the winter months. I did not say, Lord, please bring the devil from hell and have him sit his ass crack on earth. I, mean, I never heard anybody say I'm going to Cleveland.